Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nikita from ESP Solution. In this session, we are going to create incentive pay supplemental earning. So incentive pay is a financial reward for performance rather than pay for the number of hours work. So let's uh, see the test scenario for this supplemental earning element. So we are going to create incentive pay supplemental earning and then search for the existing employee Linda Swift and then associate this incentive pay earning with the employee and then run the quick pay for this. So let's move on to the application. Under the my client group, scroll down, click on the show more option and here find the element under the payroll. So here's the payroll and under that we have the element. Here for creating new element, just click on the create icon and for the existing one, search by the element name, reporting name and the element classification name. Okay, and you also fill the legislative data group here. Just click on the create option. Here select the legislative data group for this element and then find the primary classification which is a supplemental earning and uh, and the incentive pay is a kind of bonus so just select the bonus and then click on the category as a standard then continue here for the name of the incentive pay And then fill the reporting name. And the description for this. Okay, so input currency is by default selected here because we select the US legislative data group before. And uh, this is the duration for this element. And uh, this should be eligible for every person automatically or um, not not eligible uh, and not selected by the automatically. Okay, so here I remain is there's no and just select the first standard earning date uh, for the earliest entry and for the latest entry just select the first standard earning last standard earning date and here are the some standard rule for this element. So I just uh, skip them as they are and just click on the next option. Here just select the calculation rule for this element and what is the default periodicity of this element. So we uh, select the incentive pay as a uh, calendar month and the periodicity conver conversion rule is a, a, a standard working hour rate. Okay, so you can select here. And here is the some other option. How do you want the work unit be reported? So just click on the hours. And there is a other rule special. Uh, is this element subject to proration? So no. And is this element subject to retroactive change? So just select as a no. And use this element to calculate a gross amount for a specific net amount. So no. Just click on the next option. And then review this information. You just fill and then click on the submit option. You just wait for a while for creating a template for this element. Okay, so this is the element template. Now we just move on to the element eligibility and create here. Give the name. And if you want to give input value by default here, under the input value option, you can give here the amount. Okay. But I give at the runtime. So I just submit this. And then move on to the 
quickly process they are find an existing employee and then associate this element to the employee and run the quick pay okay so here just scroll down and then click on the show more option and here find the simplified quick pay Here find the employee. And then associate element with this employee. Then click on the continue option. Here give the amount for this element. I just gave ten dollar for example, and then submit. Then run the quick process for this element. Now it's processing. Just wait for a while. Okay, so now it's completed. Here under the earning, just click on it, and here you can see the employee incentive supplemental earning we just created. Okay, so this is how you can create the incentive supplemental earning and then associate with the employee and then run the quick pay for the employee. So I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.